What's happening inside this video? We're going to teach you how to crush IV during earnings season instead of getting crushed by IV during earnings season. Teaching you a lower risk strategy that offers the same rewards and can help you take advantage of what we all know is pure option destruction during earnings season. So please subscribe, like the video. The value we're dropping is insane today. And if you guys want to trade this seven days for free, hit the link below. Two live streams a day, free indicator, free courses, bread alerts, and more. So here's Netflix, 20% down on earnings. So a lot of people saw that 2,000% return on options, some of them 3,000%. So people think earnings is like, wow, you can become a millionaire overnight. It's easy. Just buy calls and puts and maybe one leg makes money. If the other one doesn't, we're all good. But that's not the case. Unfortunately, people can get decimated during earnings. This guy right here, 99% down on his investment. His phone battery just is bad. So earnings can decimate the other side of what you're holding, which means your stop loss, what typically it is, 30, 50, 70% down, it doesn't matter. It can blow right through it the very next day. You can lose literally everything in one single day. So we all know Tesla is coming up. So let's talk about the scenario of what could happen, how to play it correctly, and why it's so dangerous. Number one, IV crush. That's what we're talking about today in depth. IV crush is the act of holding the option that has high IV through earnings. The very next day, the IV drops which means the value of the option drops and everybody gets crushed, the calls and the puts. So you think you're a genius for buying puts, Amazon drops, Netflix drops. You think you're going to make money and you wake up and you don't. That's IV crush. And we'll talk about why it happens. So first off, free books, free courses, link below. You need to get on your journey of trading the markets and understanding them. And these books can help you get the best setups, understand options, and understand common terms. So grab that, marketmovesmat.com, totally free. So here's Tesla this week. We all know it has earnings. Here's what we call a long straddle. So we'll not, we won't talk about this right now, but we just want to put up this for calls and puts. This is called the expected move. This is the priced in move of what option buyers think is gonna happen for earnings in one day. So from January 26th to January 27th, in one day, Tesla is expected to move 96 points, $96. That's about a 13% move from here. So that is the expected move. The problem is if it does not move, the expected move, everybody loses money, calls and puts because it's priced in, the IV is higher, and if it doesn't happen, that's so dangerous for these option buyers. You can see right here, Robinhood does show your break-even points. It does show it needs to happen for this trade to make money. You can see it needs to cross 843 for the puts to make money needs to cross 1,036 for the calls to make money. If it stays within that zone, it's the death zone. We're going to have max losses inside that zone, which means if you bought calls and puts, which is a straddle, you have $9,618 in this trade. If it's in between those $200 of ranges, you lose that $9,000. So that's the danger. More than that, for you to make money in this trade, <laughs> it's got to move way past these break-even points. Tesla's got to go to like $700 for you to make money on the straddle. For you to make money on the long call or long put, it's got to go above like um, those break-even points as well. So that is a price to move. That's IV. And let's talk about the inner lines of the option. So if you click it, the put the buy, the expiration date, towards earnings, you're going to see implied volatility is 100%. So this is very high. If we go out to an option just a couple of months later, February 25th, a couple of weeks later, IV's 73%. So for you to buy an option closer to earnings, you're paying a 30% premium, a 50% premium to hold that option. So IV is related to Vega. 
And the option, if we all know options in general, are a form of leverage. So you have intrinsic value, extrinsic value. Intrinsic value is your leverage component, which is delta. So for every dollar move, you make X amount. In a percentage wise, every dollar move could be 5% or 20% or 50% or 100%. The percentage you could make on a dollar move is going to be related to how much extrinsic value you have. If you have leap options, those options aren't going to make as much per dollar move because there's too much theta. With IV, those options won't make as much because of vega. So extrinsic value is mostly vega and theta. So the time decay component and the volatility component. If IV is so high, that means you're paying more for the option. As we can see in this example, IV is lower, you're paying less but you're paying more for theta because you have more time on it. So it might be the same price, but you know one of them is gonna have more vega, one of them is gonna have more theta. So here's the example of what's gonna happen in terms of an IV crush. 100% IV for that weekly option on Tesla, their report earnings, stock drops, 3%, 5%. It's not enough to make money. That means IV is gonna get slammed. So that, that could drop straight to the longer expiration IV 73, but let's say IV drops to 80%. So every 1% move in IV, you're losing that times Vega. So we multiply 20, which is the 100 to 80 move, 20 times Vega is about 10 bucks. So that's 20% of the option's value. If we look at the option, it costs $46 which is about $4,600. So you're losing $1,000 just from IV crush. That doesn't take into account also the fact that it's gonna be out of the money, the fact that there's time decay still baked in. So this option could lose even more. So time decay could be another 20%. The fact that the IV can go down lower, there's more time decay. This option could be 70% down one day after earnings even if it went in the correct direction. So like you were right, you bought puts, Tesla drops, it doesn't drop the expected move though. So it doesn't drop 13%. Hopefully you're staying with me. But what I wanna do is just go over how to crush IV with certain strategies, how to do it safely, how to trade earnings safely. So again, Texas number, if you want the Monday morning watch list on what we're trading, I'll be transparent, give you what I'm giving to the group every single Monday morning. Very exciting, and I love to do it. If you just want to trade with us seven days for free as well, click the link below. But here's one strategy you could take advantage of the IV crush. So the long option buyers, they're losing money. So who's making money? The option sellers, the people shorting the options. So for you to short an option on Tesla, people typically go like 80, 70, or 60% chance of profit, and that allows you to put statistics in your favor and put risk to reward in your favor. So you're just using statistics to make money. 80% chance of profit, that means you're making $1,365. You're risking $8,500, which is about a, I think, 10, 1.3% uh, return, uh, I believe so. So, sorry, you're risking $83,000. <laughs> Either way, um, it's it's like 1.5%. And this is a 80% chance of profit. So instead of putting the risk on of buying the option, if you short a put, you can buy the shares of Tesla at a deep discount. You know, you'd be getting Tesla at a 10, 15% discount from here, and you'd be keeping the premium. So that's one way to do it. If you're Tesla owner, like you own the stock. If you own 100 shares, you can write a covered call. And this protects you if the stock drops. So the stock drops, you're doing all right. So we're going to see here 80% chance of profit. This is actually going to be $500 more in possible reward. So you're putting your 100 shares up with a covered call, and you could lose those 100 shares if it goes over the strike price. So again, it has to go over the 
option premium plus the strike price for you to miss out on future gains or more gains. But you can make a clean $2,000 on earnings just from a covered call from Tesla. And that's pretty exciting given how bearish the market is. If you're feeling riskier, you know, you put your strike price at 75% here, you make an extra thousand bucks, 700 bucks. You go even down further in the 950, 970 level, um, you can make three, four thousand dollars just from a covered call on Tesla shares. So pretty insane. The last strategy, the one I think most accounts would be pretty excited about because it takes less money, not eighty-three thousand dollars. The short iron condor. You can do credit spreads on one side or the other, but this is double credit spreads, which gives you double the possible rewards with the same amount of risk. So these are $10 wide spreads. And what I did here is very, very genius, if I may say so myself. We do see the expected move on Tesla being um, $96. So that means $843 and $1,036 is kind of the range of the expected move. So what I did is I put my iron condor, I put it half of that expected move. And I could do the full expected move. I wouldn't make as much, but I just want to show you, you know, the risk reward here if we have a small move after earnings on Tesla. If we fall within a half earnings move, that would be about 890. You can see 883 to 996. If we fall within those parameters, we'll make our full max profit within, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there depending on these max profit levels. But we would risk in this trade a credit of $663. Um, that's what we're trying to collect. So the max loss, as we can see here, is 337 So we're trying to make 663 and we're risking 337 So this is calculated by Robinhood. And you can see here, it's just the difference between the strike prices minus the credit, and that's your max loss. So you're you're trying to make 663, you're risking 50%. So if you lose, you just need, you know, one more trade and then you can lose again and still break even. So this it's a pretty good risk reward. And the best part is um you can go further out, maybe risk 500 bucks to make 500. So that would be probably in the 840, 850 range for puts and then the 1,020, 1,030 range for calls. But the iron condor is short, so it takes advantage of the IV crush and time decay. So you make money from those two factors. If you flipped it, you bought this long, you would make money if it went over eight or under 883 or over 1,000-ish. So if you flipped it, you went long this iron condor, um, you'd be making money if we went over those levels. Um, it wouldn't be that much though. You know, you'd be buying this for 337. You could possibly make it's pretty good actually, like 200 percent for this iron condor if you go over those levels, you know, and clear them with uh, at the close on Friday. So that's all. Those are the slides on the best earnings plays. How did it got not get crushed by IV and how to understand it. So if you want to see our video on more earnings plays, more strategies you can use, click it in the video to the right of me. If you want to trade with me seven days for free, hit that dang link below. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your week. Peace.